So today we will learn how to connect an SQL database with R. So this is the package required, R MySQL. And then these are the credentials required, password, username, DB name, port and host name. You need to put in your own credentials over here. You'll get these from the database. I'm using my own. I've kept these in the source.r, uh, credentials.r, sorry. And I've added this command. You just need to set your own and you don't need to include line number 21. And then we move on. Yes, credentials have been loaded. And now we configure connection with the database. This is the function db connect and we just load it and see yes it has been connected and now getting list of the tables in the database by running this function db list tables and you can see there are three tables in the data now we will get the data from this table select all this is basically an sql query which will give you all the observations from this table you can see username password and player id these are the three columns with these values and now you can also get a look of the names of the data frame column names or variable names and then we use this update query from sql so we are going to update the table which is player data and set password equals to qrt123 where player id is one uh, no we are going to change it to hello world because qrt123 was initially set So it is odd, important to add these quotes, single quotes around the strings. I'm going to add the comment as well. So later on when you have a look at this in the GitHub repository, you know, I will be adding this comment to GitHub as well. Uh, this is the query you can see the single quotes around the string and uh, this is just like an sql query so okay next we are going to use this db send query this is basically going to send this query to our database uh, okay it has been sent now Otherwise, you would have seen some error if there have been any issue with the query. So, player up data update. So, I've created a new data frame so you can see whether the data was updated or not. This is the updated one player update update as you can see at the top. So, now it has become QT123. If you go back and look at the play data, it was hello world. The updated one is hello world, and the previous one is QT123. Now we're going to add a new row. This is just a basic tutorial for how to interact with SQL on R. So if you want to pass on the advanced queries, it is up to you. But this is the basics and more than enough for you to get started. So now I'm going to add another player in the data. I've changed its name to visit one, password to do more, and then I'm also going to update its ID. So at the top, username, password, player ID, and then their values, just like any SQL query. So we have sent this, it has been sent. Now I've created another data frame, player data updated one. Yes, have a look. Okay, you can see, and another one has been added. So now the last, coming to the last part now. You also need to disconnect from the database to free up the spaces. So, if you are not sure how many connections you have opened, just add this function and this will kill all the connections, database connections for you. Thank you. I hope it was helpful for you. Thank you. If you like it, please like and subscribe.